for one thing, I, I generally don't speak about the body. Uh, I speak about a body, uh, my body, your body. <laughs> um, so I, some the the concept of an abstract body is is not so um, useful to me in, in work. Um, and on the other side of that, I. I try to work with um, perception as material, to consider, con to consider perf performance uh, where perception is handled materially. Um, so my, my body is a material, uh, movement is a material, and there is a relation between how movement constitutes me and how I constitute we have a collective practice and frequently it is a practice of co-authorship mm -hmm. and then obviously the approaches are very different even uh, the explicit articulated formalizations mm -hmm. and methods are very different and these necessarily clash and mm -hmm. then and bec because we have sort of the hierarchized um, mode of operation we have to try to translate and that mm -hmm. is then uh, I guess process of making things compatible but also making clear what the incompatibilities are mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that you have to uh, settle on in order to work together yeah, yeah. I don't I mean, I'm, I'm not a dancer myself I perform but I can't I have no technical knowledge mm -hmm. and no, mm -hmm. no skills so that I, uh, um, in that sense I don't come with that uh, form of understanding what mm -hmm. it is what I, that I'm doing, uh, but uh, then uh, we are composed of uh, dramatics, uh, dance professional dancers. Mm -hmm. um, I come from a no place in particular philosophy, but mm -hmm. also no place in particular. And then we have uh, necessary uh, process of. Uh, clarification, which usually um, sputters up as, as, as a conflict, uh, and then mm -hmm. you, have to mm -hmm. you notice it in the conflict. You notice yeah, that because somebody's doing something, and yeah. the other person is desiring something else, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. that then uh, usually uh, we understand that we are in a misunderstanding. Yeah, but we have to clarify what sort of misunderstanding mm -hmm. it is, yeah. which we don't yeah. always manage, but. But I, in in collaborative process, I'm quite interested in this in the distinction of whether you know does Badco have a voice, or is it a signature that it that it you know are there signatures that it produces each time, or is there a voice that's uh, that emerges after so many years of working, um, that is an identity. In there some is way. definitely signatures. Mm -hmm. But there is, I think, also a voice, and they are not mm -hmm. necessarily in harmony. Mm -hmm. uh, and mm -hmm. we also exist over a long time. Yeah. So um, there is a way of looking over, uh, in, in retrospect, that could say, ah, it's, it's uh, crisscrossing, not sometimes. It's mm -hmm. the voice that is dominant sometimes is the signature. Mm -hmm. And... Um, so we have very strong authors within uh, uh, the collective, and then uh, they have their distinct references in terms of aesthetics, in terms of politics, mm -hmm. uh, and then we have also um, uh, lesser signatures that. Mm -hmm. Uh, contribute, are in conflict, uh, create heteronomies, uh, material, and, and also understanding of what it is that, that a certain uh, work is. No, I'm, I'm sure that many, that my colleagues would interpret things that we do very different from how mm -hmm. I do it. And we frequently mm -hmm. are interpreting, uh, are speaking about our work. No? Mm -hmm. uh, but we do not uh, we do not 
have the same articulation. We, we don't try to have a collective articulation of that. Uh -huh. So our poetics or yeah. approach. Mm -hmm.